Hello everyone, in this video, I'll show you how to fix iOS 16.4 battery draining fast issue on iPhone and iPad. Many people are experiencing unusual battery drain issues after updating to iOS 16.4. While normally battery drain issue is resolved once a phone is updated to the latest version, but it does not seem to be the case for some. Till the time the issue is resolved by Apple Inc., you might want to know how to fix iOS 16.4 battery drain by yourself. 1. Make sure to force quit apps. Probably the easiest way to stop apps from eating into a large chunk of battery unnecessarily is to force quit them when they are not in use. 2. Turn off location services. Not for nothing. Location services is considered to be one of the most power-hungry features. Therefore, make sure to take control of it smartly. Otherwise, it will alone drain a large chunk of battery and even cause an overheating problem. 3. Disable background app refresh. Just like location services, the background app refresh is also a power-sucking feature. Though the background refresh does allow apps to refresh in the background and remain proactive, it consumes plenty of battery. Make sure to disable it to... 4. Turn off automatic downloads and updates. iOS allows you to automatically download apps on devices connected with the same Apple ID for a seamless experience. To ensure you don't have to manually update apps, it also lets you update apps automatically. Though it is very helpful, you should disable both of these features to improve the battery life on your iPhone. 5. Force restart your iPhone or iPad. Many a time you can get rid of the battery drain on your iPhone through a hard reset. It is worth giving a try. 6. Send low-quality images via Apple Messages app. Sharing high-quality images also gobbles up the battery. The Apple Messages app allows you to share low-quality images to reduce power consumption. 7. Turn off autoplay in App Store. By default, App Store automatically shows the preview of apps and games so that you can easily find out what they have got in store for you. B. Be sure to turn off the autoplay. 8. Turn off the automatic download of podcasts. To enhance your podcast listening experience, the Apple Podcasts app automatically downloads the latest episodes. Whenever you want to catch up with your favorite episodes, you can tune into them. But if your device is faced with rapid battery drain, you should turn off the automatic download of podcasts. 9. Remove weather widgets from both home screen and lock screen. If you use weather widgets on your lock screen and home screen, get rid of them. In order to show the current weather conditions accurately, the weather widgets require access to location data. The use of continuous location data consumes more battery. Get rid of them to extend the battery life of your iPhone. 10. Enable dark mode. Apart from enhancing the viewing experience, dark mode also improves the battery life. Therefore, make sure to take full advantage of this notable feature. 11. Update all apps. Outdated apps not only make your device less secure or vulnerable to malware attacks, but also tend to trigger a number of issues. Thus, update all apps. 12. Disable automatic mail. Fetch. The mail app automatically fetches new data, which is well thought out, and plays a vital role in improving the user experience, and choose the manually option to fetch the mail data manually. 13. Remove the software beta and go back to the public version. It's no secret that software betas tend to be unstable and often trigger a hell lot of weird issues. Get rid of the software beta and go back to the stable version. 14. Enable low power mode. Since iOS 9, 2015, Low power mode has been my go-to tool for improving the battery life on my iPhone and also reducing unnecessary battery consumption. When activated, it automatically turns off background activity like downloads and mail fetch until your device is fully charged, around 80%. 15. Reset all settings factory. Reset comes in handy when dealing with a persistent issue. Do not miss out on this one. That's all for today video. Subscribe.